Good morning, 8 a.m. Tuesday. Tuesday's a good day to book loads. And a lot of emails I've been getting have been, uh, how do I determine my rate per mile? How do I determine my offers? Um, there's not really a formula to it, and it's mostly based off of the market. So there's very few loads on C.H. Robinson's app or J.B. Hunt's app for that day. Then I will kind of be a little more, um, I guess, what they call the market average. But if there's a lot of loads, then I will go high. Always aim high. So there, like right now, I have a couple different loads. I'll do some, some picks real quick right here, and then we'll talk about these ones um, where they're trying to be. But you, I would, I wouldn't say go a thousand. If it's a far run, it's two day. Go a thousand bucks over whatever they're trying to offer, or more, and just uh, would depend on the market. So it depends on where it's going. Like I say all the time, going down into Florida, the further down into Florida, jack the price up further up into Pennsylvania, up into upstate New York, up into Massachusetts, jack that price up. Um, lower part of uh, Pennsylvania, higher part of Virginia, Richmond side, you can get back to a decent market pretty quickly. Um, so you don't have to go too high, but still get your money for it. So let's look at these two clips and I'll talk about kind of what the what my thought process is on them. All right, so that first one was C.H. Robinson Lowe, Thomasville, North Carolina to Sarasota, Florida. And um, I emailed him. He, he's the only one to email me back. I bid on like four loads this morning. Only one person has been emailing me back, and it's 8.30 in the morning. So uh, a lot of loads out there. I think the brokers are discouraged right now. But um, anyways, it came back at 1400 And it's a two-day. You can see it doesn't deliver till the second. So for two days, 1400 that's almost insulting. So they're trying to just see if I'm a sucker, if I'm a newbie, if I have no idea about the market. So... Going all the way down to Sarasota, that's south of Tampa by like 60, 70 miles. Um, nice area, but it's way down there. You're gonna come way back out to get out of Florida. So when you're booking these loads, like I said, get more money for it. So I, I told him you were about $1,000 off, which I would probably do that for 23, 24, which is right about a thousand bucks. But I would probably say 25 and then let him, it's like dealing with the car salesman. You have to go high so you give yourself room to meet in the middle. So um, next load was the uh, Bristol, a convoy load Bristol this was up last night even I've been bidding on it so seventeen hundred dollars it was sixteen hundred to start Bristol Virginia which I can make right now it's either I'm at um we're at the top of where 81 meets 77 so I'm about to go down 77 I hate when the phone does that it overexposes but um about to go down 77 right now so if they don't come back to me I'm gonna come in I'm in a loves right now uh, right off of 81 I'm gonna get a little something to drink freshen up uh, start today and then uh, if they don't come back with something higher but convoy is the worst at um, combating your your offers they won't combat you until it's like a 45 30 minutes before that appointment time and then they'll be like fine and they'll but then you have to be like right next to that area I'm still 86 miles 85 miles away from Bristol and I'm about to go down 77 and be a lot further from Bristol so I wish they would be a little more uh, accommodating but in a market right now that it's good for the carrier uh, they really just kind of wait for their sucker to come along. It's going to take that load. So hold your guns on that load. It's going down to Sarasota. You should be getting 24, 25 on that. I'm offering like 28. I started offering 27.5, and, and then I keep going up if they don't respond. Then I went to 28, then I went to 28.5, and I'm at like 29 right now. And there's still no response. And they probably won't respond, or if at all, until uh, the end of the day or right before I have to pick up, which is noon. And then a lot of things you have to understand about the brokers and these the loads is they have time to, to move them sometimes. They don't start really paying and calling you like TQL called me yesterday on the load because they needed it run right then. So they might have till um, Friday, Thursday, Friday, or even next week to run it. So it's called bouncing the load. If they don't get someone to run today for 17, they'll bounce it to tomorrow, bounce it to Thursday, bounce it to Friday, bounce it to the next week. So that's what they do. So you have to find the right load that they need run. Uh, the last load I have up there was uh, Elon, North Carolina to, uh, where was it going? Social Circle, Georgia, which is outside of Atlanta. But for that, I had 93 miles of deadhead and not easy deadhead. It was going to be through the mountain going down, um, not 77, kind of at an angle towards Greens, uh, was it Greensboro, North Carolina? That's where Elon's at. So that would have been a decent one. It's a straight through. Um, and I'm not, I'm being really stingy on my loads right now. I could have took, there's a couple of great loads I could have took back up to Pennsylvania or over to Richmond or um, down in the Tennessee area, but I'm trying to be home because we got T-ball with the babies. Last, last game of T-ball is tomorrow, and that's the first time they've ever been on the same team together, so I'm gonna be there for that. They're having a big pizza party, so tomorrow at six o'clock. So kind of, you can book loads easier than me probably because I'm trying to be there in my kid's life. I'm trying to be 
back home so uh, I can enjoy these events with them and, and be there for them. So I'm trying to find something kind of going either to Atlanta or down to Florida. Like that Sarasota love would be great. That's why I'm staying up here, or not Sarasota, um, the Bristol to it's Lakeland, Florida. That's where that Bristol one's going for 1700 That'd be great because I pick it up, put it on a trailer, it's only 5,000 pounds, and then um, go home. Watch, uh, have a pool day today with the boys, and then uh, watch T-ball tomorrow, and then get it delivered on the second. So that's kind of my thought process. I hope it helps you guys. Um, always go high. Um, there's no set. That, that every, you'll hear a lot of brokers say that. Well, that's the market, or that's like the 15-day average. Like um, a lot of like truck stop and DAT state. There's no average. There's no market. You make the market. Look at how many loads are on the board. If there's only a couple of loads, then start. I wouldn't say panicking, but start moving your, your offer down. Still make your two dollars a mile. Try to make some some good money after your fuel. So calculate your fuel into it and what kind of market you're going into. Those are the things you're really gonna wanna look look at. Um, it's the best advice I can give you. It's like buying a car. You're, instead of offering high though, got an STI guy backing up. I'm parked off to the side at the Loves. STI, that's a local uh, Greenville company. So yeah, that's how I, I book my loads. If it's, it's a lot of things like straight through or, or if it's taking two days to get there, that's the things you're gonna look into and the market it's going into. That's how you book your loads. Those are three loads that I would kind of give you my thought process on what I would take them for. Two of them are down to Florida, one's a straight through, um, right by the house that'll get me home. But right now my thought process is a little different also. I'm trying to stay going by the house so I can be there for my, my babies tomorrow. I'll be there for my babies tomorrow no matter what. Um, either I'll put something on a trailer today that, that delivers the second, or I'll get something today that's a straight through, or something delivering right around the house tomorrow, or I won't have nothing on the trailer. So we shall see. But uh, let's see what how the rest of the day holds, and that's my start off to this video about how I book my loads, what kind of rate for mile you want to look for. And I get a lot of comments on that. I'm sorry I can't respond to all the comments, guys. I'm not saying I'm getting too big for YouTube or nothing like that, but I have a lot of other stuff going on that, that I, a lot of, I try to respond to like three or four of them at a time, and then there's a bunch more that I just can't get to. So, um, but thank you everyone for commenting. I see them. I'll try to like them all so you like know what I saw them. And if it's something really important you want to have some some guidance and advice on, email just truck and wife at gmail.com and uh, see you soon. So I really wanted that convoy load, so I called on it. Convoy is probably the worst with um, giving you feedback. So I called them, got hung up on uh, after being transferred, then called again. Finally got through to somebody, and he was more of a direct guy. He knew the load, and he was talking about it. And he was giving me the rundown about how it's built into their app where they can only offer 10% 10, 10 more max of what they were originally having the load for. And uh, there's no way to counter offer email or do anything like that to like let you know. So I was like, that just not a good way to do business. And like um, he said, oh, we'll probably run this for about two to twenty-one, or we'll just bounce it. And I'm like, you need to have more. Um, they need to have more on the fly, direct correspondence with the guys that are bidding, so that they can come to an uh, agreement, like JB Hunt does. Or and I understand the brokers trying to make the most money as they can possible, but if there's a trucking position to take that load. That load's not going to get picked up because it's only about three hours, less than three hours from now for being picked up. And I'm here ready to go. And they're not going to get a move because of this. So it's just, it's a flaw in the system. The broker's trying to keep more money in their pocket. Stay high. I'm going to head down 77. There's a load going straight back to Greenville from Charlotte for 600. Better to have 600 bucks is 12,000 pounds. It's a more Asheville area, which is north of my house, but still it takes me towards home. So while I take that one and, um, get back home and get some on the trailer tomorrow delivering uh, down to Florida or back up to PA um, on the on the second so I can be able to t-ball but uh, yeah convoy needs to update their app I'll do a little picture they te text you and ask you how was the, how was your uh, conversation with convoy I'm like not very good you guys need to work on your app and they also tell you there's like a little um, recording and they tell you that um, there's other people that are still looking to book this load and um, your, your score, like your score of being on time with them and uh, how many loads you've taken and all this other stuff will factor into how you, um, if you're accepted for this load, I'm like, don't. They try to make it seem like they're doing you a service when, no, it's, 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 you are the asset. Don't let the brokers ever feel, make you feel like you owe them something. You're the asset, you're the truck, keep it going. So I'm gonna, I got a Chester sandwich, I'm gonna try it out and then uh, get back on the road. Right head down to Charlotte, get back home. TQL just called me. I 
bit on one of their loads down to Tallahassee area from up here, about 20 miles dead head to pick it up. And uh, that load has since been taken off the board. I guess my, my bib is too high. But I just had a conversation with another lady who called me from TQL. Um, all the schematics of the load, heavy load, 44,000 pounds. Picking up right here in Wyattville, um, which is about 25 miles from me. And going all the way down to Pensacola, different load, different, but she saw that I bid on another load, I guess. And after talking to all the schematics of that, she had to have seen that I bid 2,900 on that other load in Tallahassee. Uh, asked her, okay, what's, what's, what are you guys looking for a rate? And she said a, a grand, $1,000 for 683 miles down from Virginia all the way to Pensacola, Florida, which is not a good market. And I said, is that a joke? And she said, no, it's a grand. I'm like, okay, well, uh, I wouldn't do that for less than 28 to 3,000 and uh, have a great day. So it's, I don't know if they call it to be funny or what, or if they really are serious about $1,000, but you don't ever take a load for $1,000 on 683 miles, 44,000 pounds down to Pensacola, which is a dead zone. You're gonna have to get back up to Georgia <clears throat> to get something else that's good. So. It's, uh, it's comical sometimes out here, but that's how you know how to um, mid your loads. And don't get don't feel bad for the for the people calling you. Just say politely decline and uh, just tell them maybe, hey, I can get $600 for 100 miles right now. Why would I take 683 for 1,000 at 44,000 pounds when that's $600 is only at 12,000 pounds. So it's, uh, it's comical sometimes, but hey, that's how I book my loads. So that's what this video is named. It might be long and repetitive, but uh, just kind of let you know this day on a Tuesday, which is also another thing you got to think about is the 4th of July weekend's coming up. So a lot of stuff's going to be shut down. So they're not going to be able to bounce things um, that much because the second will be uh, second or third. So the third will be Friday. So yeah, 4th of July falls on a weekend. That's cool. Um, I think we're going to the lake. But um, think about that too. They're not going to have a lot of shippers open on the third or receivers. So that let people off early sometimes. All these things that take in your mind when you're holding, sticking to your guns for the best load. Who knows if I'll get something today, but I guess we'll know by the end of this video. A ton of loads out here, but um, brokers, I guess, just want to see what they can do. They always do this earlier in the day. They'll try and play the game, try and get you to take it for next to nothing. Uh, but then when it comes down to the appointment time and the customer needs a move, that's when the money starts coming. So know that keep it in your back pocket uh, I'm just gonna head back towards home maybe I'll get some in Charlotte maybe I'll get some 
in um, back at the house. It's gonna have to deliver on a second because I need to be home tomorrow, unless it's just straight through tomorrow morning. But um, didn't get that Charlotte to Asheville load that was 600 bucks on 100 miles or 120 miles. Uh, they took it off the board, so somebody else probably booked it. That was a pretty good load. I would have booked it right then for 800, but or 750 even, but not 600. But if it was a worse market, then I would have taken it for 600. But right now, it's a pretty dang good market. Lots of loads, as you can see in that clip. I just posted with all the uh, loads for everybody. So we're gonna get back down 77 and see if something pops up. We'll probably stop down by Lake Norman and uh, watch and check the loads again if we got anything but yeah pretty up here not raining yet but we definitely got some clouds looming and this is the Wyethville area of Virginia that's not the name of this town I forget the name of this one but, um, Wyethville is the biggest city around here let's get back on 81 to 77 turn some gears it's definitely a busy love stuff lots of people here There's old 81. All right. Back on 77. Took exit 42, looked for some loads. Coyote had a load that um, I was gonna take when I took this last load I just took up to Mountaintop PA. It's still on the board, so that means they need to move it badly. So I bid on that one, then I was looking at all over, the different other loads, JB Hunt, um, everyone, but I'll, t I'll do a clip right here. This is the Uber load that was was a pretty good load if I was in Richmond area dropping off, coming down to Wilson, North Carolina, down to Clinton, South Carolina, which is right by my house, like 15 miles from my house. That would have been a great load. It was going for about 900 and it bumped it almost to 1200 so that's $4 a mile. That would have been a good one, but I wasn't on that side of uh, North Carolina. But if it was in Richmond, that would be good. Then there was another one from Charlotte to Dublin, Georgia, which is okay. I bid eleven fifty, and then they countered at a thousand. So let's check out these two clips, and then here is the bidding I did also on this Coyote load. And then of course they called me. We'll talk about that in a second. So you can see that progression. I bid, they were offering it for $19.46, I think, $1946, and they offered $28, and they came back with $25 after about two minutes, and then um, I declined it and bid $29. If you decline it, that shows them that you're not really, you're not messing around, I guess. You're kind of, that's too low. But that is a good rate, but of course you want more because you know this load's been on the board for a while because I saw it here last week, so. And they had two of them posted. So I, um, Declined it, then I came back with 28.50, they came back 25 again, so I declined it, then I went to 29, and I left it there, and I left it there for a while, and then they finally countered, and I declined it right away, and within 30 seconds of declining it, they called me, and that's that, uh, that phone number I showed you at the end, the Illinois number, that's Coyote's headquarters, so, they called me, and they were talking to me, of course, I knew it, I've only been on one load, so they knew, I knew exactly what he was calling about, and talked to him for a little bit, and he said, hey, um, can you come down a little bit on 29? They really want to be 25. And I said, let's meet in the middle. I'll do 27 right now. And he went on hold for, I was on hold for maybe five minutes, came back and said, hey, they can't do it, but I can do 26. And I said, try and get 26.50 and we'll, we're good. And he came back with 26.25. I said, cool, man, just book it. So we got that, $4 a mile on 671 miles. That is not bad. And it's not too heavy, it's 20,000 pounds. And I've been here before, they load pretty quickly. It's like um, custom designed, uh, custom graphic cups, so like, if some company wants to do a promotion or something, they can have a custom done uh, cup graphic. So, gonna go pick those up. Twenty thousand pounds, right by the house. So, uh, those other loads were okay. This one was great. And then, after that's all booked in and locked in, uh, they actually push the appointment time back too. So that's another way they try to get you to feel a sense of urgency to go ahead and book the load because you think the appointment is gonna expire. But a lot of times, they push the so this they push the appointment back to five thirty. You can 
pick up now from 2 o'clock to 5.30 at night. So just be wary of that. They have the power to bounce the loads. They have the power to change the appointments, all that kind of stuff. Not always, but a lot of the time they do. Sometimes the appointments are really strict and really locked in. But a lot of times they're just trying to make you take a load. So we got that load. And after that one was booked, I had another call from Illinois on another uh, load that I had bid on yesterday. So their loads are really up right now. And this lake uh, we're on right now, right there to the right, that is Lake Norman, and about 10 miles, oh, maybe seven miles up there to the northwest of this lake was, uh, we had a lake house there, 2014, my brother, 4th of July. So six years ago, on this next weekend coming up, I was there with my brother and his uh, two daughters, and we were having a great time. My mom was there, his wife was there, his wife's family was there, and I'd never been out here to North Carolina, other than like flying to Charlotte to go fly over to Amsterdam or fly over to France. I've flown over a couple different places. I flew to Greece, but uh, that's the only time I've ever been in North Carolina. So, came out here, flew into Charlotte. My brother picked me up, had spent a great weekend at the lake, and during that time, I was a single single lad, and uh, I, I was using an app called Tinder. And I had matched with a beautiful blonde lady from South Carolina. And uh, which is pretty close, we were only about 85 miles from uh, Greenville. So got matched with this girl and I uh, just kind of messed her a little bit and that ended up being trucking wife. We got married soon after that and then uh, we started trying for having a kid about six months after that. So we had our first kid about a year and a half, after, a year, three months after being married. And, uh, but we met here at Lake Norman. So that's a little backstory on how I met trucking wife. That lake right there was where I first laid eyes on her on a computer, on a phone screen. I think it was like an iPhone 4 back then, a tiny one, or whatever it was. But um, she was hugging her dad and had like uh, this cute little dress on with a cute top and hugging her dad in front of his uh, fireplace and kissed him on the cheek. So I said, hey, she's a really pretty girl. Looks like she's tall also. And I told her that I was 6'5", and uh, that's why that was my, uh, or her little, you know, you could have a little comment at the bottom where it said like, well, you're whatever what you're looking for and she said if you're under I forget what it says if you're under six foot you're a friend and so I just commented with like messenger with like I'm six five and she said hey nice to meet you so the rest is history but that's how you book loads guys I hope you guys like this video um, please subscribe there is a giveaway going on I will let truck and wife talk about it right here actually and then I'll come back to you we still got that retro NES gaming system giveaway going. If you guys want to go ahead and press that little arrow right there, it's going to bring down the link. Go ahead and enter to win. And if you want to do me another favor, below that you'll see a subscribe button. Thanks guys. So I guess you can see why I was attracted to her. What a beautiful woman. And she's got a heart of gold and her kids love her more than anything in the world. So definitely scored on that one. So thank you God for that godsend of a woman. And um, Hope you like the video, like I said, please subscribe. Giveaway will be live on Saturday, and um, the way it's looking right now, we might have it switched up again. We might be at the lake. So um, that would be cool if we could be. If not, we'll do it somewhere. But hope you have a great weekend. Get uh, get these loads booked, and I hope this gives you a little insight on how to wait for these loads and get to a good market. Um, I'll do one last picture right here of my fuel mileage, averaging about 9.4 right now, but that that's because my load was 4,000 pounds going up there. And of course, I'm empty now coming back down. Don't be afraid to deadhead to make your truck worth it. So get out, get down to a good market. Don't take what they, they tell you to take up there in Pennsylvania. Or um, if you want to go into the city of New York and all that kind of stuff, you can get some good money. But then again, you've got toll roads and then you're stuck in a bad market like New York where nothing's really coming out. New York City, not, not upstate New York. So that's the fuel mileage I'm getting. And it took me just over a half tank to uh, get all the way up to my drop from my house because I, I filled up right by the house at Q and T. My kids call it Q and T and I call it QT, but filled up there, went all the way up there and all the way back and it cost me, I'd say 225 to $250 because it takes me about 500 when the fuel price is about 225 per gallon. It takes me about $500 to fill it com from complete empty. So normally it's like 450 from a quarter tank or 400 from a little over a quarter tank. So I've just passed half tanks, so about 225, maybe 200 bucks that I spent on fuel all the way up there and all the way back down here to Charlotte. So that's pretty good. Don't be afraid to deadhead. Just make sure your ELD is working. Reset your, your, top, your uh, clock and get back to a better market and make it worthwhile. Long video, but I hope it gives you guys some insight on how to book loads, what that you're doing, and act like a car salesman. Act like you're the salesman in the sense you're trying to get the price as high as you can and, and this, uh, the dealership is the buyer. So 
they're trying to get it for as low as they can, you're trying to wait out for the highest you can, but you have to be in a decent market to get that or wait later in the day. So if I would have stayed up there in um, off 81, I would have just been having all my eggs in one basket with a couple of loads that the brokers, I don't know if they're gonna bounce them, I don't know how much time they have left on the, on the load to move it. This uh, load closer to my house, which lets me be home for T-ball tomorrow, they need it moved because I was on there last week and they were calling me and they've jumped right away to 2,500, which it would have been hard for me to get 2,500 uh, a month and a half, two months ago. But now it's like they're just offering that right off the bat. So that is it, guys. A lot of talking, a lot of rambling, but I hope it makes you have a little insight to how to book loads out here. It's not that hard. You just have to wait for a Saturn view not to be going 40 miles an hour in front of you. And uh, <laughs> Uh, I got a nice suburban letting me in, but I don't know if we got some engine problems here. We're just cruising along, but we're definitely not going too fast. So. All right. God bless everybody, and let's have a great 4th of July. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Um, might have a little pool day, but we have T-ball. So. No trucking tomorrow, but it might be a family day.